My name is Yemi Adeyeyi. I'm the city forester, manager for forestry and natural areas. Uh, today we'll be discussing uh, the city's approach to, the tree, to our tree maintenance program, uh, primarily focusing on how we do trimming, why we do it, and to show you some illustrations of, our, uh, of the work, what it looks like when we're trimming the trees. As you may know, we started our area tree trimming program in 2021 and the intention of this program is to ensure that all the city trees on the streets and right of way are trimmed at least once in seven years because this is one of what we call the preventive uh, tree maintenance program to ensure that the backlog operations and some of the issues we have with our city trees are reduced so this is in this situation we have 10,000 is trimmed per year to do this we divided the city into 28 uh, areas and within these 28 areas, four of them is streamed uh, per year. Behind me, you would see one of our contractors presently working at the moment. And one of what they are focusing on when they start to train, which is related to our approach, is that all the dead limbs on the trees are removed. All the clearances that are required to ensure that the tree is safe and to ensure that the tree is also healthy are, both, are sort of trimmed as well. So we consider the trim, we, we consider clearance across the cobs, we consider clearance across the lawn of, uh, of our private of our residence, we consider clearance from you know the city right of way in terms of distances, we consider also sight, uh, a line of sight to ensure that it, uh, when there are drivers on the, in traffic, people can see stop signs and the related signage on the roads. We also consider the street light making sure that their clearance, that the trees, branches, or limbs are not blocking the light so that drivers can you know, drive in safe condition. We also consider clearances from the rooftop of houses so that the branches are not interfering with the, with the housing, housing structures. So these are the key things that uh, the trimming uh, program or the trimming contractors will look at when they start to trim a tree. I should also mention that these uh, contractors and our staff are all certified arborists so which means these are people who are trained are qualified and have an understanding of what would constitute a healthy tree and what will make a tree safe for the public. So something to note is that these are urban trees, which means the way we maintain them, we maintain them for two objectives. The health of that tree, which is very important to make sure the form of the tree is right, the branching pattern is good, and the tree can, have, can grow in a long lasting sustainable form. And the second one is the health of the public. So which means for each tree we see on the city right of way, we maintain them in recognition of safety of our people who live close to those trees, the public who pass by those trees all the time, people who take their pets on walks, people who drive by. So these are all considerations that we have to reach a middle ground and make sure that trimming is done in consideration to all these factors. What that may mean is that sometimes we may trim a tree and they don't look that aesthetically pleasing as they will normally look. What that means is that we are trying to make sure that that tree is safe as well while it is also healthy. Our approach to trimming is following the, st the agricultural standard which is internationally renowned and established. So what we look for is that we ensure that we remove all dead limbs and stubs from the tree, regardless of what the size of these stubs are. The second thing is that we make sure that all crossed branches and all water spouts that may make the tree less healthy are all removed as well. Another thing is in relation to the clearances that I mentioned before. So for clearances over the curb, we trim up to the height of 14 or 15 feet within that range to maintain that clearance. Over your lawns as well, we trim up to 8 feet to maintain clearance of the lawns. We also, uh, for the roofing structures, we trim 8 to 10 feet away from the roofs. And we also trim 10 feet away from driveways. And uh, there are also some situations where some of these heights may be graded based on the reality of the tree and its location, but with some few, dis but potentially with some few differences in centimeter away from the trimming uh, specification. And another thing is that for the street light, we provide two feet clearance from all street light cables and, and, and up to like 45 degree angle of uh, angle, uh, up to 45 angle of, of angle away from the, from the tree. 
So, um, so I'm hoping that this video and this demonstration answers most of the questions we are receiving from the residents because we get some questions around, oh, my trim is my tree is trimmed this way. Uh, there's this uh, consideration I would like to happen. But then there are situations where when we send our certified arborists to evaluate, we may not be able to trim in relation in, to meet the direct uh, request of residents. But just so you know, we are always aware that maintaining those trees serves both your independent uh, 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 objective as well as the public objective and the city will continue to work to make sure that the needs of the communities is met and we do appreciate all the cooperation and all the support we are receiving that the forestry department our staff and our contractors are receiving for this operation and we hope that this uh, collaboration continues thank you very much